A group of teachers at Gross Point North High School failing to show up for work in the wake of changes to the district's COVID policy. Good afternoon and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Keenan Smith. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is outside the school where parents are sounding off. Simon. That's right, Keenan. Many parents taking to social media to express frustration with classes being disrupted here at Gross Point North High School. We've learned that many students were taken into the auditorium and left to sit at distanced tables as teachers failed to show up to school today. It comes after some notified the school that they would not be coming to work today. This also follows a heated Gross Point Board of Education meeting and resignation of Sean McCarroll, a well-known teacher and lacrosse coach who was critical of the board's rules. McCarroll said eased restrictions are compromising safety, although they appear to follow federal guidelines. The new resolution passed 6 to 1. Reduces quarantine period for anyone testing positive from 14 down to 10 days and reduces minimal distancing from six down to three feet. Parents tell us kids have asked for more in person opportunities after a very long break from seeing their friends and being in the classroom. These teachers, I was in full support of it, but now that they've changed the rules, I believe that they are mad that it went from six feet to three feet. And if you test negative after five days, you can now come back to school. It's silly. These kids need to be in school. They they miss it. They miss their friends. I'm frustrated, but I can I can see both sides. I can see the parents wanting to send their kids to school. I could see the Board of Education trying to keep things as safe as possible. It's it's kind of a no win situation, really. Now, the superintendent says he's disappointed with the teachers who did not show up, but he is proud of those faculty members who were here and managed this situation. Coming up at 5, we'll hear more from the superintendent and also the head of the teachers union. Reporting live, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.